Please stay tuned. We need a strategy. Time to test our rapport. Let's improvise. Do you admit this crime? Stay in step. Dreams do come true. Commencing support. The mood is set just right. Let the show begin! <laughs> it's time. Enemy data secured. Netmarkers activated. Time for a good old counterattack! That's all you got? By the order of the Ten Lords, execute the Marastruck! <laughs> <laughs> Take your positions. Enemy targets detected. Ready for another? In the mood for another beating? How's this take? Motor function Stay restored. Stay in step. Let's improvise. Incense ascends, entwined with ethereal clouds. The stench of evil. Of your body and mind. You won't get away. The mood is set just right. Let the show begin. Let's improvise. Enemy targets detected. Time for an overhaul. You won't get away. Perhaps 
you still don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. The mood is set just right. Let the show begin! Enemy data secured. Net markers activated. Time for a good old counterattack! The truth burns clear as a flame. Everything in this world is bleeding. You won't get away. Immerse yourself in it. Time to cleanse the filth. You won't get away. May the foul stench dissipate quickly! Trouble now. <laughs> Liquidation. Right. Investing in victory means playing the bomb game. Who will it be? Ordained by the stars. Oh, stars. Give these trailblazers your blessing. Welcome, customers. Yeah! Easy, Numby. Go, Numby! The market is unpredictable. Right! Investing in victory means playing the long game! Thank you. 
There's a big crowd around the clinic. Where to now? Do you think they felt the effects of the battle just now? Let's go ask around. Natasha! Oleg! Hope you didn't have to wait too long. Oh, it's them! You kids move fast. By the look on your faces, I assume you come bearing good news? Summoned up all our strength, and then... Uh, maybe he should do the talking. I'm no good at serious stuff. I'll probably say something I'll regret. We were there at the fight. We witnessed everything. Uh, sacrificed herself, huh? Sure, yeah, that's the whole story. <sighs> Kakolia, in order to save Bellabog, she... <sighs> I see. So the massive tremors we felt earlier were a result of the battle, right? you. I can't even imagine what you've been through up there. I'm just glad everything turned out all right. Oh, what about Zila? Don't worry, she's all right. It took a big toll on Branya, so Zila took her over to the guards. Oh, good. I'm so glad you're all okay. Now that Kokolia's no more, I guess our Silvermane girl is about to become the next Supreme Guardian? Hmm. She sees things through, and doesn't go back on her word. The Underworld will thrive again under her watch. Mm-hmm. Oh, we brought you a message from Branya. <clears throat> the blockade will soon be lifted. The people of the Underworld will breathe freely. Breathe freely. <laughs> That's been our wish all along. March, Don Hung, and you. Can I ask for your help again? I want to get this news out to everyone. It'll lift their spirits and bring them hope. Thank you. Choose whoever you like. Wildfire will take care of the rest. We've gotten to know a lot of Underworlders. Who do you think we should start with?
Roger that. You can leave the rest to us. If everything goes smoothly, <laughs> this should be Wildfire's final mission. Those kids better not have taken advantage of the chaos to go on an expedition. Hook does always talk about wanting to go on a Rivet Town adventure. Ugh, this could be bad. Didn't you go back to the surface? <laughs> Since when did I become Miss March? And where's Hook and the others? Come on, call them over. Oh, we just started playing. Can't we finish this round first? Seasoned pros, I see. Hey, it wasn't like I wanted to play. The kids forced us to. Uh, actually, I sort of want to go play on the swings for a while. I'll leave the seeking to you guys. someone else to talk to me. You should be happy it's us and not Natasha. If she had found you, you'd be in big trouble already. Hmm, I guess so. Anyway, I'm gonna go find Julian. Your integrity, huh? You brought the other kids out here to Rivet Town, didn't you? I... I did not! The moles hold a vote on all our expedition destinations! Hmm... Fine, I will. But it better be exciting! Okay, okay, that's enough of that. Let's go and find Julian. 
hide and seek update. Astral Express Crew 2, the Mole Zero. Hm. Celebrate while you can. Hide and seek is best at five, you know. Anyway, enough about hide and seek. You came all this way to tell the mole something, so spit it out. <laughs> do you want to do the honors? Oh. Oh. Uh huh. What's wrong? Why aren't you saying anything? Hook, Julian. <laughs> hey! Wipe oh, your tears, Julian! You're second in command! No crying in front of grown-ups! <laughs> you three, listen up! Starting from today, you are the mole's number one rivals! Rivals? Why the heck are we rivals now? What are you talking about? Hook and Julian always wanted to defeat the villains on the surface and take back our homeland. But it sounds like you grown-ups just stole their thunder, so... <gasps> you think we're gonna accept defeat just like that? One day, the moles will be the heroes of the underworld and the overworld. Then everyone will sit and... Uh, sit and, um... up and take notice! <laughs> uh, I would have figured it out myself. I didn't need you to remind me. <laughs> so that's why you were so silent. Hmm, if you want to be as awesome as us, you better start training every day. And start listening to Natasha. Training every day? Listening to the old witch? Will that really make us as awesome as you guys? <laughs> In that case, deal! <laughs> Julie and Alina, let's run back to the town! Training starts today! <laughs> yes, boss! Understood! Uh, Alina... I can, uh, give you a piggyback if you can't make it. <laughs>
Oh, Mr. Yang put it nicely. But the reality is this. We sealed the Stellaron, but that's not gonna solve the problems on this planet. There I was getting excited to tell everyone the good news. Well, that's the cruelty of a Stellaron. Still, compared with some of the other planets we visited, at least this one has hope. So, should we tell everyone the deal? We should tell Branya when the time's right. Let's not dampen the spirit just yet. Haven of memories. Every touch, every moment is like a thorned rose. Well, are you hurt? Let me take a look. Everyone all right? <sighs> Thanks for your help. <laughs> Sometimes face-to-face -face communication is more meaningful, don't you think? Now we just have to wait for the official news. I hope Rania doesn't keep us too long. Huh. Do you think Sparog and Clara felt the effects of our battle with the Guardian? I think they'll be fine. 
Plus, Svarog's devotion to Clara is even greater than his hostility to Wildfire. <laughs> if you're worried, you could look for them over at the robot settlement. Outsiders, for friends of Clara. The, 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 thank you for rescuing Clara. Seems like Perkins picked up a stammer. Its language module must have malfunctioned. Can you take us to Clara? Outsiders are f friends of Clara. Follow me. Visitors, Clara. Oh, it's the variables. There was a huge shaking just now coming up through the ground. Mr. Svarag said it must have been. Recalculating. Conclusion Engine of Creation. 97.66% probability. The engine of creation was an immense construction machine created by the architects. It was not built to fight. Well, whatever. We won. Thanks to that giant robot, we were finally able to take care of the Stellaron. And Branya made a promise. The Underworld and the Overworld will soon be reunited. Which means that you, Svarog, um, you won't have to worry about preserving the Underworld for the time being. March, everyone, thank you so much. I wasn't sure you guys would be able to do it, but... But now... Mr. Svarog, what do you say? You guys said you were travelers from other worlds, right? I want to be just like you. One day, I'm gonna go traveling to faraway places and make new friends. Calculation result. Update. 
Mission number 0001. Preserve the underworld. Complete. That's our Branya! Quick as a flash! <laughs> she certainly moves a lot faster than some people I know. If you haven't got anything nice to say right now, zip it! Storms on the horizon. Never last. Time to say bye. Boom. Harmony and unity. Another journey begins. Destiny for oblivion. Again. Don't worry. It's just a scream. <laughs> Time to show what is your prescription! You're too good to me. <laughs> Say bye to breathing. Let me show the redemption. 
Good times. No time to say bye. Boom. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Still waters of oblivion. Another blood debt repaid. Storms on the horizon. Just in time. Free will, or was it fate? Destined for oblivion. Thanks. You're too good. Good to me. <laughs> Time to show you what's in your prescription! Thank you. My throat is feeling much better. <laughs> Say bye to breathing. <laughs> Journey begins. Still waters of oblivion. Let me tend your wounds. May as well kill them all. <laughs> Time to say bye. Boom. <laughs> say bye to breathing. <laughs> I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Huh, relax. Need a doctor? Don't worry, it's just a scrape. I hope for an end to stroke. <laughs> Time to show you what's in your prescription! My throat is feeling much better. Another journey begins. Stand still. Let me tend your wounds.
Journal of Preservation! Reach the end of the story in your own way.
We need a strategist. Say bye. Boom. Resonate all together. Finally! Uh. 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 Time to say bye. Boom. Harmony and unity. Just for oblivion. Stand still. You fool. Time for the old world to collapse. 
haven of memories. Every touch, every moment is like a thorned rose. You made it. <laughs> I thought you were about to miss out on a moment of history. No way! After all our hard work, how could we miss out on the final celebration, right? I smell it too. <laughs> For Oleg and I, not to mention the other adults, reopening the passageway means rediscovering old ways of living. A return to normality. <laughs> Survival is no longer the top of the agenda. But for the children who were born into this era, who grew up in this isolation, this will be a new life altogether. Once you've tasted freedom, it's difficult to accept a life of separation and isolation. Those of us whose childhoods were marred by tragedy, we must strive to do better for the next generation. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Here I am talking your ear off again. <clears throat> This is a day to remember. We should welcome it with smiles. <sighs> if you have time, talk to the folks here. Every one of them will tell you about their excitement. Then when you're ready, let's go home. Finally. Finally, I can get back to supervising the cable cars. I thought I'd spend the rest of my life in those mines. Ah, it's you! The liberators of the underworld! You're the first passengers we've had since being sealed off. <laughs> It'll be my honor to get you to the surface in one piece. Relax, relax! In all my 20 years on the job, there were only ever... Uh, uh, anyway, none of them were serious. <clears throat> so, ready to climb aboard? <laughs> <laughs> Less rust and geomero particles floating around. Take a deep breath, children. This is what freedom tastes like. I never thought I'd live to see the administrative district again. All those years. We've been through a lot, Natasha. <sighs> You're right, Oleg. It's funny. The moment I boarded the cable car, my mind was filled with everything I wanted to do on the surface. But now, I just want to sit down, zone out, and watch the people coming and going. And let the day just pass me by. <laughs> Enjoy the peace and quiet, Natasha. We earned it. Still on duty. <laughs> he must have recovered quickly. Let's go say hi. Welcome back to the administrative district, Trailblazers. Trailblazers?
Trailblazers. First time anyone's called us that on this planet. <laughs> the Architects think it's only right that we should address you properly. Outsiders is hardly fitting anymore. Please allow me to apologize again for what happened in the Restricted Zone. You were only trying to help. I should have trusted Serval's judgment. Thanks for understanding. Lady Branya's inaugural address will begin soon. She asked me to pass on her invitation to you. Uh-huh. That's sooner than I expected. Is she well enough to... Not really. But Lady Branya insisted on delivering the speech as soon as possible. She wants the people to understand what happened. The address will be held at Everwinter Monument. I hope the three of you can find time to attend. over there. Is the address starting soon? Hmm. Looks like it. Branya hasn't arrived yet, though. Hmm. Let's find somewhere to wait. Wow! Did you see that, Clara? A super, super big steel monster just ran past! I don't think that's a monster. Mr. Sparrow's database has information about it. It's called... Hmm... I can't remember. Don't worry about the name! The important thing is I saw what it can do. It has a huge appetite and swallows people whole. And it just so happens to be the mole's next target. <laughs> we'll defeat the iron monster and save the people in its tummy. Um... I don't think that's how it works. Guards! Formation! Whoa! This must be it! Citizens of Bellabog, I kindly ask for your attention. 
Lady Branya Rand's inaugural address will begin shortly. Please remain orderly. People of Bellabog, hear me! Today we gather here to celebrate our victory, but it was a sacrifice made by a mighty guardian that delivered us this opportunity. She dispelled an evil that cost us 700 years of suffering. And in the process, she paid the ultimate price. The sacrifice of Kokolia Rand ushers in a new chapter. The blizzard beyond the walls will die away, and the offensives of our Silvermane guards will begin to contain the Fragmentum's advance. In the far north, I witnessed with my own eyes the struggle between the late Supreme Guardian and the evil power that sought to destroy us. In her last moments, the Supreme Guardian told me her greatest regret. The Order to seal off the underworld from the overworld. With the passage of time, she gradually came to realize the consequences of that decision. Although tortured with guilt, she could not undo the damage. In her final moments, she wanted us to mark the Stellaron's end by reuniting Bellabog. Overworlders and underworlders must embrace the dawn of a new age. Together. People of the underworld. I dare not ask for your forgiveness. I now know the reality of your decade of suffering. But I want us to work together. We know that without your perseverance and hard work, Bellabog will not recover its former glory, and the seed of civilization will not be preserved. And on that note, I'd like to extend my heartfelt gratitude to a few guests of the city. Most of you were not aware of their arrival, but it is thanks to them that our world now flourishes with hope. They made me realize that while we remain focused on preserving the ground beneath our feet, we should not forget to look up into the sky. I firmly believe that with the determination of everyone, our world, the world the Trailblazers call Yarilo Six, will no longer be alone among the stars. But before we accomplish that goal, I humbly ask you to follow me into the future. I, Branya Rand, the 19th Guardian of Bellabog, hereby take my oath. Lady Branya! Lady Branya! Long live Bellabog! We're back! March, Don Hung, and you. It's wonderful you made it to the address. Sorry, I know the invitation was very last minute, but I needed to get the news out as soon as possible. The longer people waited, the more rumors started to swirl. The situation risked spinning out of control. Oh, she was there. She just made sure no one could see her. Azealia is still new to the vastness of the overworld. She feels uncomfortable in a big crowd. I'll help her adjust to life here. That was some speech, Branya. If I had to talk like that in front of a huge crowd, I'd be shaking head to toe. It was all just a bunch of palatable lies. I hope you never have a similar experience, March. Mm, I 
prefer to be honest with the people. But I also want to preserve their hope. Don Hung, wanna talk about Mr. Yang's findings? Mm. Allow me to explain. Which means... The Fragmentum has already taken root by this point. Even though the Stellaron is sealed, we won't be able to reverse the damage immediately. I know. Our ancestors wouldn't have risked using one if they'd had other ways of avoiding calamity. You've gone out of your way to save this world. You nearly lost your life. I have no right to ask for more. Besides, I agree with Mr. Yang. Ultimately, the fate of Bellabog is in the hands of its own people. In that case, as a leader, I must give you a promise of the same weight. We will hold out with everything we have until the day you trailblazers return. Even if it takes another 700 years, the children of Yarilo Six will look up to the sky with hope in their hearts. So long, my friends. May the preservation bless your journey. Congrats! That was one heck of a first trailblazing expedition! Worth celebrating, I'd say. Five. Two and a half? What? That run of the mill, huh? Hmm. My scoring criteria are different from yours. <sighs> anyway, we should be asking you. Any thoughts you want to share? Unforgettable, I'm sure. Anyway, don't worry about the future. Live in the moment. Let's go for one more round in the administrative district. I want to take more photos.
Stream four. The gl Branya said she's willing to wait 700 years for us. Huh. Don Hung, how long can humans live for? Forever. But in that scenario, they can't be considered human anymore. Yikes, so serious. I was just curious. Here we are! Everwinter Monument! Photo time! Oh, Pela and Hook are here too! Let's make sure we get them in the background. next. Oh, we haven't seen Serval since we got back. Let's head to the workshop. tell you to knock before <laughs> it's you three oh, come on in I was just talking to Clara about you how have you been big brother mr. Vall's workshop is amazing there are all kinds of things I like it here a lot mr. Vall Clara is such a well-mannered kid meanwhile the architects children are still calling me auntie and making me feel old Take a photo, remember? Photo? <laughs> this feels like one of my fan meetups. <laughs> anyway, for you guys, I do autographs for free. Photo. Oh, I remember. When I was little, Mr. Sparrow took a photo for me. Over here, Clara. Wanna learn some cool poses? <laughs> Great! I wish the photographers at my shows had your skills. Huh? Am I really that short? I thought... Don't worry. If you eat like Don Hung, you'll be as tall as him one day. <laughs> uh, I'll let that slip. Here, keep it. A little farewell gift from the Astral Express. Huh? You're leaving so soon? 
I understand. Well, this photo will always be close to my heart. I'll make a copy for you too, Clara. The thanks, Mr. Vault. Big Brother, March, Dan Hong. Thanks for taking care of me. Safe travels. If you have time, please come back and visit me and Mr. Svarog. enough sightseeing and photo taking to last me a while. Time to head back to the Goethe Hotel for a good night's sleep. <sighs> we can sleep when we're back on the express. Not so fast. Last time we were here, that evil Madam Guardian interrupted us before we'd gotten the most out of our luxury suites. Don't you think we should make up for it? Come on! Himeko and Mr. Yang are grown-ups. I'm sure they'll cope without us for one night. Besides, don't you want to chit-chat with the locals now that Bellabog is full of life again? I know I do! At the end of your journey, all that perplexes you and troubles you will resolve. Oh, it was a close thing, all right. Good thing it dawned on me. Hey, Sampo doesn't have to be a protagonist, right? <laughs> the likes of us are better suited to, uh, shadowy comic relief, eh? Turns out the Astral Express crew is more fun than I expected. <laughs> you, you liked it? Really? <laughs> Told you so. No, no. I'm in no hurry to leave. <laughs> uh, what? Oh, Epsilon? <laughs> What fun can you get out of a giant vanity fair like that? <laughs> True happiness always entails the manifestation of the dignity of mankind. Now that's a quote I live by. Well, bye for now. Send my regards to the guys and girls in the tavern. Oh, and don't forget to say that Sempo Kuski will catch them for the next one. Time to make my curtain call. To you, my dear audience, I dedicate my performance. I wonder, did I bring a little more joy? 
into your lives? You don't have to answer that. But if the answer is no... Then you'll break my heart. We should... myself. Oh, Copycatitis still has no cure, I see. Did you get Himiko's message? It's time to go. Uh, the conductor will nag us again if we put the express behind schedule. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Well, pack your souvenirs and stuff. Back home we go.